It just depends on the changes. If the changes are simple, then you're completely free and you can just go for it, you know. But, you know, I say that, you know, I don't, you know, I'm just kidding, but it's true, you know, you can just, you can take a chance and you can always land on your feet if it's like a one chord or if it's a blues or something. I mean, obviously you don't want to do that kind of thing with a blues because it seems inappropriate, but, you know, and, and if it's like just some kind of funk one chord jam or something, you can take a chance and just, you know, if you don't land on your feet, no big deal. But if the changes are hairy and they're moving a lot, then I would probably be more likely to think like what you were talking about, like uh, think of a formula that takes it outside the chord that leads me to the next chord or something like that. I do this lick a lot, you know. This isn't in the diminished scale. I'm just saying, putting it like in C sharp minor blues, like, and then you can, you know, you can change the top note. And you can kind of get a, you can play it straight, like. Or you can do a little kind of a pull off. I, I don't really know how to explain it. If, 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 it's, if it's real, real fast, if the tempo is real fast, I probably will have to do it straight. You know, you know, like. But if it's a slower tempo, I might be able to get away with going. You see what I mean? Uh, anyway, what I'm trying to do is apply that to the diminished scale. And the diminished scale has... And then you see this right here could also be... You could either use... Or... So I kind of will switch back and forth from... See what I mean? And then, so these two stay the same. You know, so it's just, and then now um, you, by the same uh, same kind of technique, and then right there on the same scale, and so that that lick is basically, and I've been doing this for years. I'm, I'll, Never put it on a record again. <laughs> I don't know how many records it's been on, but it's in a million different gigs. But um, you could sit on one for a minute. Yeah. Now I could just go. I can, you know, make it an exercise, and, you know. But once you get this going, then you can take that idea down a minor third. And then it's just the same fingering move, you know. So you get, you get. And then, same fingering, you know, so it's just a little symmetrical kind of an idea. But um, the pick is, is the trick on this one. It's, it's not picking every note. It's just, right. it's just going, uh, that's all, it's going da, 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 like a shuffle, you know, like a fast shuffle, you know. Da, 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 you know. And uh, the other is pull off and hammer on. So you hit the first note and then pull off. And then upstroke and then pick the next two. You're like. So you pick three notes so far. And then a hammer on. And then you pick that note and, and then you start all over again. So it's going. And then with the pull off and the hammer on, and, I, and then you just change the notes, and that's the pick stays the same, you know. Uh, and then uh, change the, you know, the the notes um, on different string string groupings, you know. 